After I finished my graduate studies in Treasury and Risk Management, I was invited to join the Technical Committee of the Finance and Treasury Association. What was important to understand was that the association management really knew very little about the profession and, in particular, the technical issues associated with how the profession was run. The Technical Services Committee was the advisory board responsible for helping prepare government submissions and deal with Treasury and banking. The CEO was able to call on us, and in particular when I was chairman of the committee, for, to provide practical but prompt advice. For companies, a advisory board can provide that level of technical support whether it's to do with banking, accounting, or marketing. An advisory board is there to help a company, and particularly the CEO, get through transitional times. No one can expect that the CEO knows everything about everything. What they need to do is be able to turn to people who can quickly assist them, as I did with Marilyn. When she had a problem from the Australian Treasury, she would ring me and I would give her the answer. That's what a company needs. The CEO quite often is an expert in the technology or what the company does. When it comes to a commercial matter, they need advice. That advice can easily come from an advisory board. At Projects Our Age, we can assist you to find with appropriate people to join the advisory board.